some element of uh, infrastructures like uh, railway beds, um, landing streets, uh, pavement uh, structures, bridge, uh, and other, uh, which help to recognize the weakness of structures uh, and uh, uh, prevent unallowable deformation and destruction of them, and thus increase the safety of uh, transportation traffic. Uh, and this topic uh, uh, consists of two parts, uh, the development of uh, uh, hardware or equipment for uh, scanning data and uh, uh, software part, uh, the computa computational method of analyzing uh, such data. And we regard on our lecture only uh, two uh, parts of this, uh, uh, the method of uh, uh, inverse problem analysis, uh, inverse problem that arises from uh, uh, <clears throat> from this point uh, of view. Uh, some words about uh, uh, methods that uh, used for uh, diagnostics uh, of uh, uh, the road bed structures uh, uh, considered. Uh, there are uh, some methods, uh, engineering and uh, geodetic, uh, ground penetrating radars, method of loading trains, method of measure, measure sur surface point, uh, points, uh, elastic displacement of the road bed under the passing trains, uh, uh, seismic methods and other methods. For example, method of measuring the surface points uh, of the road bed um, structures uh, consists of uh, equipment, uh, including uh, passing trains uh, and uh, sensors, sensors uh, that fix the displacement of the uh, road bed structure. And uh, uh, using this data, we will conclude uh, the state of uh, this uh, structure. Uh, ground penetrating radars uh, uh, used the penetrating radiation uh, that uh, uh, partly penetrate and partly reflect from the layers boundaries uh, uh, of the soil and uh, 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 this reflected parts um, uh, registered by sensors uh, and we see the uh, some pictures of uh, um, internal structure of the uh, uh, construction of all uh, soil uh, foundation. Uh, but uh, the disadvantage of this method is uh, uh, that uh, there is no information about the mechanical properties of the uh, solid media uh, under consideration. Uh, and uh, these properties is uh, the key values for uh, such analysis. Uh, shortcoming uh, of uh, the current uh, diagnostic examination techniques. Uh, uh, high informativity, but long duration or, and high costs. Uh, for example, engineering and geodetic methods, uh, methods of uh, the uh, sourcing points, points um, elastic displacement of the road bed uh, and seismic method uh, requires uh, a long time for installing the uh, proper equipment uh, and uh, performing the tests. Uh, high speed and low cost, but low informativity. Uh, the, it's a uh, ground penetrating radars and methods of loading trains. Uh, but uh, informativity of uh, these uh, methods is uh, uh, not very uh, high. Uh, and uh, the third problem is uh, low level of data interconnection. 
uh, it uh, will be better maybe to uh, combine the data from uh, different sources uh, to uh, obtain the high level of uh, um, preciseness. Uh, uh, for uh, <clears throat> some words about uh, the uh, pavement testing, testing equipment. Uh, uh, the modern uh, uh, <clears throat> the modern equipment, for example, uh, uh, traffic speed deflectometer uh, uh, that uh, developed in the United States, consists of a vehicle uh, that moving vehicle, and in the bottom of uh, uh, this vehicle uh, there are sensors installed. Uh, that scanning the uh, displacement uh, of the scanning uh, pavement um, deformed by the load uh, of this vehicle. Uh, and the sensor may be installed uh, uh, straightly or under the, the, the certain angle like this. Uh, and in this case, we obtain uh, uh, the uh, ray displacement or ray velocities of displacement. Uh, uh, we may measure, uh, uh, as you say, say um, not uh, only the displacement, but uh, also the um, velocities. Uh, using the uh, Doppler uh, effect, uh, and these pictures, we can see uh, fiber optic or optic as cited uh, Doppler velocity sensor principle. Uh, for example, uh, these deflectometers uh, may uh, consist of the wagon uh, uh, with uh, some uh, laser uh, sensors installed. Uh, that measures the displacement of the uh, road bed surface uh, under uh, such a load. Uh, let's consider the uh, model construction for uh, the method of uh, this uh, analysis. Uh, we have uh, in this picture the layer packet package consisting of uh, uh, some layers with uh, some physical and mechanical properties uh, and uh, uh, some properties uh, of uh, interaction between layers. Uh, for example, layers may be glued or connected, uh, fully connected or may uh, uh, allow the displacement uh, uh, between layers. Um, maybe, uh, for example, uh, according to amonton coulomb law or friction law. Uh, and uh, we have a foundation uh, that models the soil or other surface uh, on which the structures is uh, um, situated. Uh, <clears throat> the parameters that may be uh, obtained or desirable for obtaining is uh, our uh, characteristic of uh, laid back of geometry, mechanical property. Of the, uh, uh, your your presentation not moved. Uh, yeah, we uh, you don't uh, slide um, uh, further. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. and thus we can see the only first page. Ah, only first page. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's I try 
again. And now, uh -huh. yeah. Uh, see you the next pages. Yes, we yeah. can see. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, okay. Uh, let's continue. Uh, consider the model of uh, the uh, layer package. Uh, consisted of a layer with uh, um, certain mechanical and physical properties, uh, like, uh, for example, mechanical properties uh, are um, a Poisson ratio uh, and uh, shear models uh, and other um, properties. Uh, for example, uh, describing the plastic. Uh, behavior of the material of the media and others. Uh, then uh, uh, the parameters of uh, interface between layers, uh, like um, type of the interface, for example, uh, the layers may be fully connected or uh, may be slide uh, along the surface uh, uh, or may be uh, slide with, with a friction uh, according to Amanton Cologne law and others. And we uh, see the model of uh, uh, soil foundation. Uh, that model the uh, soil and uh, uh, other surface uh, on that the, the structures is uh, uh, set. Uh, mathematical mathematical models of uh, this uh, problem is like that uh, equation uh, that um, described the process uh, are uh, Cauchy equations that may be written uh, in uh, velocities or in displacement. In this case, we uh, chose the uh, velocities formula formulation uh, uh, and the, the relations between uh, stresses and strains uh, determining uh, relations uh, Cauchy uh, relation between uh, uh, deformation and uh, displacements or um, velocities of deformation and velocities of displacements and boundary conditions that reflect the uh, methods of loading and the uh, methods of uh, interaction with uh, 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 soil uh, foundation. Uh, that's a layer to layer interface, gluing or fully connected layers, uh, slipping according to Amonton Colon law. Uh, and uh, um, interaction to, with uh, subgrade, soil subgrade. Uh, in this case, we use uh, Winkler's model. Uh, <clears throat> maybe used Winkler Pasternak uh, and uh, other models. <clears throat> in connection with, with the, this, we uh, have two uh, conceptually different problems, the forward problems and inverse problems. Forward problems uh, described uh, the mapping. Uh, if we know the parameters of the properties of the uh, layer packet and uh, uh, applied, applied load, we may uh, obtain the displacement and stress strain state of uh, all um, packet. It's a, a forward problem. Uh, it determines the by the operator R from M uh, from uh, some spaces H M and H V and H D maybe. Uh, model data vector. Uh, it uh, consists of uh, ray displacement and ray velocities. Uh, and we only interest uh, <clears throat> uh, mainly in inverse problems. 
uh, that consists of uh, obtaining the properties of the packet, uh, having the observed data, uh, for example, observed uh, um, array displacement or array velocities uh, in some points of the uh, surface that may be scanned by uh, the sensors of uh, proper equipment. Uh, classification of inverse problems. Uh, as you know, uh, there are uh, two types of the problems that are used in uh, uh, data analysis. Uh, the um, regression and classification problems uh, in which we uh, applied the empirical and surrogate models uh, for uh, this modeling and the properly inverse problems uh, that um, applied to theoretical or meaningful models. Uh, in this lecture, we consider only uh, properly inverse problems, but uh, the regression and uh, problem is uh, useful for um, uh, designing the high speed uh, vehicles and uh, that um, perform the online data analysis and approximation by uh, some surrogate regression models, uh, for example, neural networks, it may be useful for um, such design. Uh, but uh, uh, at the end of the lectures, we uh, consider this uh, issue. Uh, elements of uh, the inverse problems, uh, a hypothetical uh, class of models, a set of model parameters of factors, a mapping uh, characterizing the forward problem, uh, forward problem operator, uh, observation data, uh, the observation values of indicators, uh, and uh, noise is a very important part of the inverse problems. Uh, it's a characteristic of the imperfection of observing, uh, observational data. Uh, and model data is the value of, of indicators uh, calculated uh, on the base of the uh, forward uh, operator, forward operator uh, uh, as a, a solution of the forward problem. Uh, the process of solving the rest problem is fitting uh, the data model to the observational uh, observational data model model learning problem uh, the problem of machine learning uh, but uh, um, differently from the surrogate models uh, surrogate models we uh, use uh, more sophisticated models like uh, uh, for example, uh, mm, elastic equations uh, and other equations for describing the physical and mechanical process. Uh, very interesting. Uh, uh, let's uh, see the uh, type of uh, discretization of this problem. This packet uh, may have uh, curvilinear boundaries and the uh, mesh and uh, grid that uh, created um, by the uh, program um, may look like this. Uh, but uh, the forward problem is a very interesting part of the investigation, uh, but uh, uh, our lectures is uh, mainly devoted to uh, the uh, inverse problem and uh, it may be uh, a topic of the following lectures uh, it's very interesting and we use a uh, multi-grid methods for uh, solving the boundary value problem for elastic uh, uh, or elastoplastic media and uh, i omit uh, this uh, topic and uh, go to the uh, namely inverse problem. What is uh, the difficulty 
when we solve in inverse problem. Uh, as we will see, the forward problem uh, defines the mapping G uh, from uh, space of parameters to the data space, observed data space. Uh, and uh, this mapping uh, may not be a homomorphism. Uh, uh, home, uh, <clears throat> homeomorphism is a bijection uh, uh, that have uh, um, <clears throat> some other properties. Uh, the violation of uh, the uh, homeomorphism uh, is like that. Uh, G um, may not be a subjection. Uh, that's uh, the uh, image of a uh, HM may be not uh, completely uh, be equal to HD. Uh, for some uh, point D observed, uh, the corresponding uh, J minus one may not exist. For some D observed, uh, may exist two elements for which uh, G with M1. Uh, equal G with M2 uh, and equals the observed. And the uh, third violation um, may be like that for noisy the observed and exact that rule corresponding J months one uh, the observed and J months one J true may significantly differ. Uh, there are uh, two. Uh, there is a concept uh, concept of correctness of the problem uh, that uh, proposed by uh, French mathematician uh, Jacques Adamar in the um, early uh, 20th um, century. Uh, in, <clears throat> in his theory, the problem is understood as the mapping of a certain set of factors into uh, a set of indicators. Uh, the problem is called, uh, called correct according to Adamar if the three uh, conditions uh, are valid. Uh, the solution of the problem exists for any value of the factor in the um, defined set. Uh, the second, the solution of the problem is unique. And the third, the solution uh, of the problem continuously depends on the input data in a certain topology. Uh, that's uh, the correctness uh, uh, according to Adamar consists of two parts. Solution exists, solution is unique, and the solution continuously depends on the uh, input data. Input data. Uh, that's Jacques Adamar. Uh, uh, and the incorrectness is the violation of uh, one or more uh, conditions according to Adamar. Uh, homeomorphism is a one to one correspondent uh, dejection uh, and mutually continuous uh, mapping. Mutually continuous. <clears throat> it's an ideal uh, situation when the uh, mapping G that defines the forward problem is a homomorphism. But uh, in the practice, it's uh, uh, not true. It's not true. Uh, in practice, uh, a one or more of uh, the correspondent uh, Adam Mars conditions uh, uh, um, are violated. For example, on this uh, uh, picture, we see uh, the scheme of uh, uh, situation where the uh, other Mars conditions uh, are violated. Uh, for example, uh, point DO in the space of data have uh, haven't. Uh, uh, an element that uh, corresponds to the 
to them uh, in the space of the parameters, for example. Uh, this situation is uh, uh, where uh, when uh, uh, the uh, mapping of uh, uh, full HM uh, is not uh, um, the, uh, the whole HD. Uh, uh, the, the second, uh, the representation of the forward problem is not, uh, not necessary an injection. That's uh, one uh, and the same element of data may cor correspond uh, to more than one element of the set of parameters. Violation of the continuity of the inverse mapping, uh, uh, third, the month one. Uh, in this picture, we see the uh, elements uh that corresponds uh m1 and n2 these uh two different elements in h m space correspond a one element of the uh, one uh, the one in uh, h d space it's a violation of uh, uh, uh subjection subjection uh and the sort Demonstrate it like that, like this. For example, if we uh, will move to uh, some element of D, then the, uh, the corresponding point in HM uh, set uh, do not close to uh, a certain element uh, from IHM. In order to uh, tackle these pr problems of uh, uh, violation of Adamar condition, uh, there are two main concepts of analysis of inverse problems. Uh, the first problem, uh, historically first, is a de deterministic inference, uh, and uh, uh, the second. Um, uh, a concept is uh, informa information probabilistic or Bayesian inference. In the deterministic approach, uh, postulates uh, such uh, uh, statements. Uh, we given HM parameter space. C is uh, some subset of uh, HM, the uh, feasible set of parameters. HG observed data space. Uh, forward mapping HM uh, to HD, uh, the observed uh, observation data to be inverted. Uh, mapping GM is considered as uh, considered unambiguous and exact, uh, exactly describes the process phenomenon being modeled. Uh, objectively, there is uh, an ex exact value of the indicator and uh, the observed uh, means a noisy value. The value of noise is not exactly known. There are certain estimates uh, of its correct uh, val value. Uh, and uh, we may, uh, we uh, should find uh, the inverse mapping HD to HM. Uh, that uh, solved uh, the uh, that is the solution of uh, the inverse problem. Uh, in this uh, in concept, uh, we suppose that uh, there is an exact uh, indicator and an exact uh, parameter that corresponds uh, to it. To it, uh, the main Features of the history of this uh, approach is uh, uh, are uh, Andrei Tikhonov, uh, a Soviet mathematician, uh, and uh, uh, Guy Chauvin, a French mathematician from uh, the professor of uh, the Paris uh, University. Paris University. Uh, what is the principles of overcoming the source of incorrectness uh, in the deterministic approach? Uh, 
if there is no pre-image of a certain point there, then we will consider the point there uh, one, which is the projection of a point uh, there onto the set uh, G uh, on HM, like in this picture. If there is no uh, correspondence uh, uh, of some element there O, we project it uh, onto the set of uh, G with HM uh, and uh, find the element of uh, MO that corresponds that DO1 uh, and uh, it's uh, MO, it's a, a, a numerical approximation of the uh, solution of the inverse problem. Uh, then the problem uh, of, of optimization arises. A norm of uh, Gm uh, minus Do um, to minimize. Uh, M uh, may uh, belong to con uh, <coughs> conjunction of C and uh, Hm. And the solution of the problem is the argument of minimum uh, this uh, um, uh, fitting part, fitting functional. It's named fitting, fitting functional. Uh, at the same time, the first difficult is uh, overcome, but uh, two other remain. Uh, compact operators. <coughs> it's uh, <coughs> Uh, very interesting that uh, the uh, many of uh, the uh, forward operators that used uh, in uh, uh, forward problem analysis uh, is compact operators. Uh, compact operators that uh, maps a Banach space into itself is called compact if uh, it transforms every bounded set uh, into a relatively compact set. Uh, a set is called a relatively a relatively compact or uh, compact with respect to space H if uh, its closure is uh, in H is compact. A compact space is a topological space such that for any uh, of its uh, open uh, coverings there is a finite subcovering. Subcovering. Smoothen properties of uh, uh, compact operators. Uh, smoothen properties uh, uh, expresses by uh, Schmidt's, Schmidt's theorem for compact operators. Uh, uh, according to Schmidt's theorem, there is a, a sum, the uh, G with X is the sum of uh, SI uh, and uh, some uh, basic vectors uh, in the uh, data space. Data space, and SI is uh, corresponds to the uh, aging values of this operator, and this engine values is uh, positive. Uh, and tends to zero when uh, i tends to infinity. If uh, the set of uh, these uh, aging values and aging functions uh, is uh, um, infinite. <clears throat> For example, if uh, uh, x is a noise component, then uh, this uh, uh, operator um, suppress the uh, high uh, component, high frequency component that corresponds to uh, very small SE. Uh, for example, uh, we consider the uh, um, Fred Hall interval operator. Uh, this operator is Helmetian. Uh, e and his uh, aging values uh, is uh, depicted to uh, uh, 
this slide. We see that uh, the uh, value of this uh, Asian values uh, is vanished very, very, very quickly. For example, uh, for uh, 16 um, Asian value, uh, this uh, Asian value is uh, uh, 10 months uh, 6 power. This means that the uh, frequency or component in this expression, in Schmidt's expression, uh, tends to zero very, very uh, quickly. That's the uh, aging functions of the fret follow operator. And we see that there is a low frequency components like that and uh, high frequency components. Uh, and the property of the compact operator is uh, to uh, decrease the amplitude or amplitude of uh, high frequency uh, uh, and for uh, low frequency uh, components uh, uh, the ratio is uh, not very small not very small and for high frequency the ratio of uh, um, uh, decreasing is very very small uh, and the uh, inverse operator have uh, an inverse properties. Uh, the high frequency will uh, amplify um, significantly. For example, for this uh, 16 component, uh, uh, its amplitude in the noise, for example, uh, is multiplied to uh, approximately a million a million uh, that is a philosophical essence of uh, compact operators uh, compact operators uh, is a mapping uh, uh, of uh, supreme entity to interior entity for example velocity and displacement velocity is supreme entity velocity we will uh, not uh, observed uh, uh, directly uh, and displacement we may uh, observe directly uh, and it's an interior inferior in entity uh, velocity to displacement is a mapping of uh, the compact uh, operator uh, it's an integration procedure and displacement to velocity uh, mapping is inversed to compact operator the uh, operator of differentiation uh, is uh, uh, have the property like this uh, is amplified uh, very uh, very uh, significantly amplify the uh, high frequency component of the uh, basic system uh, basic system for example different differentiation in correctness of uh, numerical differentiation uh, we may use uh, the difference formula for first derivative that have a, a so-called truncation error a truncation uh, is a error that uh, arises when we um, replace the uh, derivative to its uh, uh, numerical approximate value by uh, first, uh, um, for example, right difference. Uh, truncation error is uh, like a C uh, multiplied to H, where H is a, a step of the uh, numerical differentiation. Uh, if uh, F is a noisy value noisy value then the total error consists of two parts truncation error and error arising when we uh, calculate the uh, expression according to a finite difference formula formula 
uh, and uh, while the uh, truncation error uh, tends to zero when h uh, tends to uh, zero then the uh, epsilon diff uh, tends to infinity when uh, h tends to zero therefore total error uh, increases greatly when h uh, tends to uh, zero to zero this means the incorrectness of uh, numerical differentiation differentiation operation and what is uh, the main uh, principle of tackling the uh, second or, or uh, and third uh, violation of other mark condition of incorrectness the first uh, condition we will see, see that it's a, a projection and the second if if uh, uh, named uh, regularization regularization is a complex of methods uh, aimed to uh, overcome uh, the third and uh, second and third other mark conditions violation by the restriction of uh, variation set of inverse problem parameters m uh, that belongs to uh, conjunction of C and HM. Uh, the set uh, C determines the certain limits of physical variation, uh, whereas uh, the set HM, uh, the functional ones. Uh, for example, uh, if we consider the elastic uh, problem, boundary value problem, that, uh, for example, uh, shear model uh, of uh, the solid media uh, must be uh, positive positive uh, must be greater than the zero uh, and for example uh, Poisson coefficient Poisson ratio uh, must be between uh, months uh, one and uh, one half it's a physical uh, restriction of the parameters uh, Uh, that's uh, depicted in this uh, slide. Regularization may uh, consist of two parts, uh, functional and physical. Uh, uh, regularization method related to limiting uh, the functional variation is uh, such methods like uh, <coughs> extra re requirement for the smoothness of the desired function uh, M uh, in case of uh, functional spaces. Uh, for example, it's uh, don't allow such uh, harmonics, uh, high frequency harmonics in the uh, uh, solution of the uh, inverse problems. Uh, dimensional dimensionality reduction of the finite uh, dimensional space HM. For example, in the uh, case of uh, numerical differentiation we may consider h as a regular regularization parameters parameters uh, we uh, cannot uh, decrease this value as uh, we um, want by the We must consider uh, this uh, uh, parameter uh, um, in accordance uh, to corresponding of the uh, noise values, de uh, delta noise. <clears throat> it may be considered as a uh, uh, dimensionality reduction of the finite dimension dimensional space. For example, uh, if h is uh, not very uh, small uh, this restricted the grid or mesh uh, in the space uh, therefore we uh, cannot uh, determine the uh, derivative in uh, very many points in the uh, in the desirable set Uh, regularization by, by filtering. Uh, 
uh, and iterative regularization. Uh, we cannot, uh, we will not uh, consider this in this lecture. And the regularization method related to limiting the functional variation of parameters. Uh, for example, a uh, very important part is, in, is uh, consideration of uh, so-called a priori information regarding the possible change of the unknown parameter M. Uh, a priori information is information about the object under uh, investigation, which is not directly related to the observational data of the current task. As a rule, this information is obtained uh, prior uh, to the consideration of this task through certain studies, regardless, uh, regardless of the um, current task. Uh, practice shows that the involvement of uh, uh, a priori information contributes uh, to uh, the improvement of the quality of the analysis of the current uh, task. For example, in our situation with the uh, elastic package, uh, we uh, may have uh, some information, preliminary information about uh, the properties of the uh, layers, for example, uh, uh, due to documentation or uh, some other uh, sources uh, about uh, the road, uh, do not uh, uh, <clears throat> implicitly, uh, explicitly related to the uh, data that we uh, collect in. Uh, the current experiment. <clears throat> Using the method of penalty function for uh, regularization. Uh, uh, in this method, uh, we uh, may <clears throat> introduce a, a second part of the fitting functional, functional omega m. This functional uh, is a penalty for uh, mm, the situation when the parameter uh, have a, a non-desired uh, values. Uh, and the uh, um, ratio alpha is a a factor that determines the degree of the regularization that uh, is the price of the deviation of the parameter M from the desired set. In this method, uh, the alpha tends to zero when the uh, amplitude of the noise uh, also tends to zero, zero. And one problem is this in this uh, approach is uh, to find, uh, to obtain the um, uh, functional relation between uh, alpha and uh, uh, correspondent value of uh, noise uh, amplitude. Uh, if we uh, use uh, the norm of uh, m months m prior, prior uh, or some uh, um, non-decreasing function of it, uh, we uh, will go to the so-called levenberg marquardt tikhonov regular regularization. Uh, uh, as we will see later, this uh, approach is equivalent to the uh, Bayes, uh, Bayes, Bayesian um, uh, solution. Uh, in the Bayesian uh, um, approach to the um, inverse problem, uh, when the um, uncertainties of the uh, problem data and uh, um, on prior information is a Gauss, Gaussian or normal, uh, have a normal distribution. <clears throat> oh, let's uh, begin to uh, consider the Bayesian uh, concept of Bayesian approach, or approach to uh, inverse problems. 
the exact values, the main uh, um, statement of uh, this approach is like that. The exact value of the solution of inverse problems does not exist due to the lack of information about the exact values uh, of the measurement, data measurement, and characteristic of the process model of the model uncertainties. Uh, and uh, the second uh, statement uh, input data for the problem in this formulation are uh, so called pre prior probability distribution uh, of the value of M in a set of parameters, uh, certain assumptions uh, about the values M obtained independently on the assumption uh, about uh, the model of the process under consideration. Uh, likelihood of the model uh, means uh, how likely the observed data corresponds to the value in a set of uh, parameter according to the model under consideration. This dis distribution takes into account both uh, measurement, uh, measurement uncertainties and modeling uncertainties. And the main popularizer of this approach uh, uh, was uh, Professor of the Paris University, Albert Tarantola. Uh, unfortunately, he died in uh, uh, about 10 years ago. Uh, and in this approach, uh, the solution of the problem is a so called posterior distribution uh, in the set of parameters, which corresponds uh, to a specified uh, a priori distribution taking into account the information about the observational data and uh, the use process model uh, and is obtained as a logical conjunction uh, of the prior distribution and the likelihood, uh, likelihood uh, distribution. Uh, this uh, uh, statement is known as a Bayes theorem. Uh, and uh, uh, let's uh, uh, see that uh, Bayesian um, uh, approach uh, is a, a, a black box uh, on the uh, as the input data is prior distribution and uh, the likelihood uh, distribution. Uh, uh, and the output data is a posterior distribution that obtained by the conjunction uh, with two uh, pra, uh, distributions. Uh, correctness in the Bayesian approach. Uh, in this formulation, uh, the um, solution of the uh, inverse problem is fully correct because of uh, the properties of uh, conjunction uh, operation. This operation uh, is unique, uh, is exist, always exist, uh, always unique and uh, um, always continuous, always continuous, continuously uh, depend, the posterior continuously depend to the uh, prior and uh, likelihood uh, distributions. Uh, but the main problem of this approach is uh, to obtain the information uh, from their probability uh, density, uh, posterior probability density. Uh, that's uh, uh, in this sense, uh, the, there are some words about the correctness of the term solving the uh, inverse problem solving as a process, uh, whereas the solution of inverse problems in Bayesian approach is posterior probability distribu distribution that uh, is obtained in a straightforward way. Uh, conjunction operation is a very simple uh, operation. Uh, and the main uh, uh, difficult is extracting the useful information from, from the posterior. It makes sense to use term analyzing the solution of um, inverse problem or investigating of uh, inverse problem instead instead 
uh, there are two directions in uh, Bayesian approach. Optimization means uh, obtaining the so-called uh, uh, um, maximal posterior hypothesis. Uh, that means uh, the maximal probability, the point of the maximal probability of the posterior. Uh, uncertainty quantification and uh, uncertainty propagation. Uh, uncertainty quantification allows to analyze the behavior of the posterior probability in the closure of uh, maximal posterior hypothesis point. Uh, we may, may, may investigate the possible scattering of the values of parameters, calculate, for example, dispersion, standard deviation, uh, and other uh, parameters. Uh, uncertainty propagation investigates the relation between uncertainty of the parameter values and uh, data once uh, due to the model. Uh, it's named uh, forward propagation and vice versa, inverse propagation. Uh, <clears throat> let's see uh, Bayesian approach in more detail, in more detail. Uh, in this uh, section, we will um, formalize the uh, conjunction procedure of two uh, probability uh, densities. Uh, likelihood probability and prior probability. This formula is uh, called uh, Tarantola Valet formula uh, 1981. Uh, and this picture demonstrates uh, how we uh, obtain the uh, uh, posterior probability in the right uh, as a conjunction of uh, prior and uh, likelihood probabilities. Probabilities. Uh, posterior may have a very sophisticated uh, form, and it's uh, not very uh, easy to obtain some information uh, from this uh, distribution. Uh, important particular cases. Uh, particular cases uh, is uh, Gauss Gaussian. Um, uh, is uh, <clears throat> distribution for modelization uh, and uh, uh, uncertainties. Uh, uh, and we may obtain the uh, formal uh, expression for the uh, probability, uh, posterior probability distribution in uh, some such. Uh, Important cases, important cases. Uh, main purposes of uh, in inverse problem solving in Bayesian inference is mm. the first check the validity of the uh, parameter input uh, of input probability distribution prior and uh, or observational uh, or ther theoretical. Uh, identify and eliminate the anomaly values uh, uh, of observed data, so-called outliers. Uh, and uh, third, choose the best, you know, at least good discretization scheme in the parameter space to provide the optimal resolution according to the having observed data uncertainty. Uh, and uh, we propose the uh, so-called blockwise parameter distribution approach uh, to tackle these uh, uh, main problems. This approach uh, based uh, on uh, uh, four uh, statements. First, we divide the uh, vectors of parameters and model data into blocks. For example, uh, blocks of uh, parameters uh, may be uh, related to the uh, uh, some uh, values of uh, shear modulus and um, uh, Poisson coefficients 
Poisson ratio of uh, the measure of uh, each layer. Uh, each um, block of uh, uh, parameters uh, has an, an a priori probability distribution independent on the other block with a density rho m. For example, if we uh, create a structure like pavement, we uh, create uh, every next layers uh, independently on the um, previous layers. Uh, and the um, <clears throat> properties, uh, for example, properties of the layers is independent uh, or on the properties of uh, uh, soil subgrade, for example, uh, or applied load. Uh, the probability density corresponding to the observed values of the block uh, of data are also independent of each other. For example, we uh, have uh, two uh, series of uh, sensors installed uh, in the uh, testing machine uh, that uh, scanning that da uh, data uh, independently uh, of each other. For each block of parameters, uh, the probability densities uh, can be one of three types of uh, probability distribution. Uh, this types Ga Gaussian, long tail uh, or Laplace uh, distribution, and boxcar or uh, uh, homogeneous uh, distribution. And none uh, uh, um, corresponds to the case when uh, th there is no uh, uncertainty in uh, this point. This uh, a Dirac data function. Uh, and uh, that's the scheme of uh, the construction of the mo model uh, based on this uh, blockwise parameter distribution approach. Uh, uh, <clears throat> all set of parameters we divide it into blocks, independent blocks, and uh, all data uh, models uh, also uh, uh, divided into such blocks. And the model uh, connected uh, block of parameters and model data uh, through the forward uh, problem uh, operator. Uh, and the basic theory of uh, this approach uh, consists of uh, uh, calculation of residual function, gradient, and Hessian. Uh, for uh, some time, no, for three types of uh, the block. Uh, for Gaussian, for uh, long T, and for uh, boxcar uh, or homogeneous uh, block. Homogeneous block. <clears throat> and uh, these three blocks uh, solved uh, a different uh, uh, problems. Problems. Uh, long tail block, long table block, or uh, Laplace block uh, uh, is responding is response to uh, um, eliminating uh, uh, the uh, so-called uh, outliers or animal values. A box car block uh, is responsible to uh, um, Clarifying uh, the measures of um, uh, variation of uh, parameters and the uh, problem data, model data, model data, and Gaussian blocks. Uh, when the first two problems are solved, the Gaussian blocks uh, may. Uh, uh, get a perfect uh, may give a perfect solution uh, for the optimization problem uh, we uh, 
<coughs> shall use uh, the uh, so-called uh, gradient-based uh, descent uh, method. Uh, for this uh, uh, three types of block, uh, uh, there are expressions, uh, equations uh, that uh, uh, determine uh, this uh, component of uh, tip deepest descent vectors. Uh, the gradient uh, methods for maximal posterior hypothesis uh, may be uh, shown uh, and uh, uh, consist of uh, uh, preconditional operator and uh, um, the step uh, longitude of uh, the method uh, and uh, the steepest steepest uh, accent uh, vector. We used uh, some methods like uh, conjugate uh, gradient methods uh, and variable uh, metric methods. Uh, Fletcher Ries, Pollock Ribier, Hanston Stiefel, uh, Dai Yuan. Dai Yuan is a modern uh, method uh, uh, have shown uh, more or less perfect results uh, uh, comparing this uh, previous methods. Uh, and let's uh, uh, consider the uh, numerical, some numerical results of uh, the uh, package, a two layer package that uh, uh, boundary conditions is depicted here, uh, loaded by uh, uniformly uh, distributed load, uh, data points uh, is some points uh, at the um, top sources of the packet and uh, uh, unknown uh, parameters is uh, 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 parameters of the spline that approximates a, a um, interface between uh, uh, between layers. We use the boxcar um, block for uh, the uh, parameter block. Uh, we may uh, clarify the uh, value of uh, uh, sigma m. Uh, sigma m. Uh, in these pictures, we see the. Um, uh, a red line is an analytical solution, analytical, and uh, the black line is uh, uh, a numerical solution of the inverse problem, numerical solution of the inverse problem. <clears throat> we will see that uh, this uh, a line crossing the line uh, one in the uh, point of uh, uh, 0, 0, 0, uh, 0001. This corresponds to the um, <clears throat> that corresponds to the um, parameters of the um, analyt analytical solution. Uh, also, we may specify the uh, Data uncertainty parameters, and and in that slide we see the localization of uh, so-called outlier. Uh, according, uh, for example, if uh, parameters block is boxcar block, we see the such uh, pictures. Uh, <clears throat> And numerical uh, solution is not very precise. Uh, and in uh, the long case, uh, long uh, tail case, uh, we will see a, a precise localization of the uh, uh, animal value outlier in this point, uh, in this point of da data. And the quality of uh, numerical solution is more or less perfect uh, in defined of outliers in the 
uh, uh, animation animation <clears throat> sensitivity of solution uh, quality to data noise when the data uh, amplitude of noise is uh, um, small then the solution will perfect and uh, if uh, no um, <clears throat> we see the oscillations like in the uh, schmidt theorem Uh, in this picture, we uh, we will see the uh, convergence process of uh, uh, gradient gradient masses. With no uh, noise case, uh, the um, convergence is very fast. Uh, but in the uh, presence of the noise uh, is not very fast, but, and uh, the solution uh, is not very perfect. Uh, regularizations in this case means introducing a, introducing a, a prior probability uh, density uh, um, uh, <clears throat> in the regular, regularization process is uh, <clears throat> very important to uh, the trade of the balance between the uh, fitting and uh, uh, regularization and uh, stabilization. Um, it uh, may be used when uh, we uh, uh, draw a graph of uh, data resi residuals and parameters uh, residuals. Uh, when uh, uh, it's uh, approximately equal, x uh, the uh, we uh, Uh, achieved uh, a um, perfect level of uh, regularization. Uh, in this uh, case, we will see uh, the rate of regularization is excessive regularization, uh, acceptable uh, and uh, uh, insufficient, insufficient. For three layer packet, the pictures is uh, not very promising and optimistic, optimistic, but some information we may uh, obtain. Uh, the second <coughs> task is uh, uh, uncertainty uh, quantification and uncertainty propagation of uh, uh, in uh, inverse the inverse problem. In this uh, task uh, one used uh, mainly uh, so-called markov chain Mo monte carlo samplers mc mc uh, main of this is metropolis hastings algorithms um, is uh, in this algorithms we uh, sample the prior and uh, uh, move uh, to next uh, element uh, according to some conditions according to some conditions but the uh, difficulty of this method is the uh, uh, emptiness of the high dimensional parameter space for example in these pictures we see the uh, volume of the inscribed hypersphere to the volume of the uh, hypercool cube uh, in the uh, one dimensional case is one in the uh, two dimensional case is uh, 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 one uh, divided to p uh, and other uh, uh, when m tend to infinity the uh, this ratio is very quickly vanished vanished uh, the consequence of this is the uh, uh point of uh, the corresponding to maximal 
posterior hypothesis uh, have a values uh, greater than O in very, very small uh, domain enclosure of the MPH uh, point. And that is uh, a, um, uh, makes it very difficult to uh, perfectly uh, realize the uh, methods like uh, Metropolis Gartens algorithms. Uh, let's see the uh, prior, prior sampling of uh, this uh, two layered packet. By Gaussian Gaussian laws uh, uh, at each point, and uh, corresponding posterior uh, sampling due to Metropolis Gartens algorithm, and we will see that uh, for some points there is a stopping uh, uh, on the uh, same uh, solution. Stopping, and the next uh, only uh, the next uh, moving to the uh, next uh, sample. Uh, prior Monte Carlo average uh, corresponds so um, more or less uh, perfectly to the um, analytical solution. And uh, at the end of the lectures, uh, perspective directions uh, in the theory of inverse problems. Uh, uh, adjoint state methods uh, uh, <clears throat> is designed for calculating calculation the gradient of the residual function with a uh, um, relatively small amount of the computational work. Ensemble Kalman inversion uh, and approximate Bayesian com computations uh, uh, is based on uh, the creating a cloud of points, uh, sampling uh, prior, prior sampling, and then uh, moving to the closures, closure of uh, 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 maximum likelihood point or ma maximum posterior hypothesis point. Uh, and uh, the next is approximation of inverse problem solution by surrogate models, uh, including uh, neural networks, uh, <clears throat> in order to uh, create, to de design uh, <clears throat> online analysis of uh, high speed uh, vehi vehicle uh, who uh, tested the uh, corresponding uh, structures. Thank you for uh, the attention to uh, my lectures. Uh, we may uh, ask questions to the uh, chat and uh, may ask questions uh, in this. Uh, uh, some uh, questions in the chat. Uh, for those who want to ask, uh -huh. uh, which uh, of the foil is also known as the uh, Newton Raphson method? The, the webinar will be. Presiding over Professor. Uh, Newton Raphson method or uh, quasi Newton mass methods uh, is used for optimization problem, is inverse problem. Is uh, uh, <clears throat> a uh, uh, case of uh, uh, steepest descent algorithms. Uh, 
uh, where the steepest uh, x and directions is used uh, uh, is uh, created by the internal matrix uh, metric of uh, the residual functions. Uh, <clears throat> according to our uh, uh, experiments, it shows that the uh, is the rate, ratio of noise is uh, not very big. Then the Newton Raphson and other methods uh, works perfectly. And if the noise uh, is more or less high, then it uh, not worked, not worked. It's a very um, one of the most uh, global problem for the optimization in the uh, <clears throat> inverse problems analysis. Uh, any questions uh, more? Yeah, thank you for answering. Yeah, maybe for another audience, if you have a question, you can raise your hand or you can write in the room chat. Mm. Are there any questions? I think it's just from... Mr. Fipo only. Yeah. Uh, before I close this event, yeah, may we have to take a picture for documentation, sir? Okay. For everyone, this is a, let's enter the room. We are about to begin. So please have a seat and make yourself sorry. <laughs> yeah, for everyone, please turn on your camera. We will take a picture for documentation. Oh yeah, absennya belum ya? Yeah. Yeah, I will kin of one. Eh, wait, wait, wait. Ya, yeah, Mbak, okay. kirimu aja. Boleh, boleh, Mbak. Mbak Nuk. Ya, yeah, I will kin count one, two, and three. Smile. Once again. One, two, three. Smile. Okay, thank you for... Thank you for Mr. Alexander Trofimov for sharing your knowledge. It's a very beneficial for us. And thank you for all participants to attend this Swiss sitting lecture until end. And thank you so much for Mr. Dimitro Melikov and Mr. Alexander Trofimov for give us the this opportunity. Thank you so much for collaborate with Stecom University and thank you so much for sharing your knowledge. We hope we can meet again in another event in the future. Before I close this event, maybe you will say something before. If not, it's okay. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much, Jeff, thank you for colleague, colleagues and uh, glad to see you and glad to uh, have a next lectures uh, uh, according to my uh, scientific uh, <clears throat> preparations. Thank you so much for Mr. Alex. Yeah, have a nice day for everyone. Thank you and thank you. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Harap uh, tunggu bye -bye. partisipan yang belum absen. Saya perbaiki terlebih dahulu. Bye bye. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Goodbye. Attendance.
Sudah bisa belum ya? Ah, sorry, sorry. Coba. Udah. Yang baru. Udah. Udah. Udah bisa Mbak Abdan nih. Itu dulu, sekitar lima menitan bagi peserta yang belum absen bisa absen terlebih dahulu. Indah satunya masih bisa enggak? Hmm? No, satunya Betul? sudah selesai belum? Q&A. Sudah bisa, sudah. Hmm. Terima kasih. Belum bisa beralih ke yang sebelah ya Pak, terima kasih. Kita uh, sudah bisa, oh, Ibu Kebrian. Okay, saya kira cukup acara di sore hari ini, saya akhiri. Selamat sore dan selamat beristirahat, terima kasih. Ya, selamat